WGN's Dana Rebic is live on the South Side with more on tonight's tributes. Dana. Well, this first event uh, gets underway soon. Uh, people are just starting to show up right now. This is organized by several community organizations on the south and west sides and a couple of different car clubs. They are going to be meeting here at 87th and the Dan Ryan and forming a car caravan and then driving at 6 o'clock. They'll be leaving here and driving to Kedzie and Roosevelt to that McDonald's where this shooting happened. Now, just to recap some very big developments in this case from yesterday, we do know now there is a a suspect in custody in the shooting death of seven year old Jaslyn Adams. Chicago police were surveilling this suspect in a western suburb and then followed him on to the Eisenhower. They were trying to pull him over when he then crashed his car. We're told got out and tried to carjack a family on the expressway that was stopped in traffic to try to get away. Now, uh, we just learned today Illinois State Police have confirmed that the offender did fire a shot at officers. An officer shot back, hitting this man multiple times in the arm. He was taken to Loyola Hospital with non life threatening injuries, and we are expecting him to be charged very soon. Now, this incident caused all inbound lanes of the Ike to be closed for nearly five hours last night. Now, police say this offender is one of the men responsible for the killing of Jaslyn Adams. She was in a car with her father, John Tay Adams, in the McDonald's drive through in Homan Square last Sunday around 4 30 p.m. when police say a car pulled up and shots were fired at their vehicle. We know there were more than three dozen spent shell casings found at the scene from two different weapons. Jaslyn was struck six times. An officer pulled her from the car and rushed her to Stroger, but doctors could not save her life. Her father was hit once in the abdomen and was released from the hospital earlier this week. Now again, back live here on the south side, uh, car clubs are meeting up here. They will be riding out from this location in about an hour from now and heading to that McDonald's where there will be a balloon release for Jaslyn at 7 o'clock. Live on the south side, Dana Revick, WGN News. Thank you, Dana.